Welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and this is Ophelia the opossum. She's going to be joining us while we open some gifts that we got from viewers like you. So I would like to see if Ophelia is interested at all in any of the toys or whatever's in these boxes and packages because I think that'd be really fun. And then after we open them, whoever they're for, let's go give it to them. Sometimes we get gifts that are fulfilled on our Amazon wish list, and sometimes we get gifts that are just um, random and we don't know what's in them. Ooh, nice. This is one that we, we did ask for. It is critical care, and we use critical care for some of our old animals like Chili Pepper, the Patagonian Cavi. He eats it every day, and Cheeks the Rabbit also eats it every day. And we, um, it's basically powdered Timothy hay and with some other nutrients in it, and we mix it with water and we syringe feed them, and they, they love it, it's like a little treat for them. So this is actually kind of expensive, it's needed by the animals, but it's very nice that we get help with that, so thank you. <gasps> I see toys inside. Oh man, these are, you know you know what they call these? They call these party like tacos or something like that because it's a cute little, it looks like a taco with stuff in it. These you usually bought for the birds, but the birds are asleep right now. So I have another nocturnal animal in mind. I think Kismet the porcupine is gonna love this. And this as well. This is another chewable toy. What do you think, Ophelia? Is that opossum approved? Opossum break. Here. Oh yeah. It's like that's what I came here for. Can you hear her smacking? Oh my gosh, I can't the little hand. Ah. <laughs> Ophelia, you're the best. Alright, we gotta get back to box unboxing. Otherwise it's gonna take forever. Ooh, another toy! Another toy, Ophelia! It's a big one! This is generally a macaw toy or an Amazon parrot toy. Um, but again, they're asleep right now, so I'm thinking another chewing nocturnal animal. We'll go check in with them later. Let's get our next one. It is a present. It says, a gift for you. Let's see if it says who sent it. This is for Gaia, Ping Pong, Boomerang, Gadget, Tickles, and Ophelia, you're on here. Here's to healthy animals from the doctor family. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Ophelia, what's in here? What do you think? Oh, oh yay! Insectivore, can you smell that through there? She is very interested in that. This is insectivore diet, and we feed this as a base diet to all the animals that would eat a lot of insects in the wild, and Ophelia, opossums are one of those that would eat a ton of insects out there, as well as the sugar gliders, and armadillo, Guy the armadillo, yeah, and tickles the hedgehog. So this is going to be used for many of them. Thank you so much, Dr. Family. <gasps> Yay! More chew toys! The animals cannot get enough of these chew toys. They are some of the favorites. And let's see who it's from. Hi, feathery friends at Animal Wonders. These are the favorites of our Whiskers, who's a cockatiel, and Leopold, who's a green cheek conure as well. It's good to share, M and fans. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I don't know what it is, but these have got to be. There's something special about them. I don't know. I don't. I don't chew on things um, like wood and stuff. But the texture of this must just be like I don't like. Oh. It is a good texture. Mm. Not a good taste, but that's a good texture. That's like a, hmm. That's like a shredded wheat texture. Now, oh, wood in my mouth. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you so much for these two toys. I will save them for the birds because um, they love them and, and it wouldn't be fair to give them all away. So thank you. I have no idea what this, <gasps> I do know what this is. And there's the gift. Have a toolbox and give Kismet a good scritch for me from Andy Glenn. Oh my gosh, thank you, Andy. I like, I didn't know what this was, but 
It is, it's a toolbox. We asked for this toolbox on our Amazon wish list because we are doing so many public presentations that we needed to send out two different wildlife educator teams to go to two different schools at the same time. Otherwise we just didn't have enough time in the day to get to everybody. So we have one toolbox, but this is our second one for our second group. We use the toolbox to carry animal supplies that we would need for the presentations, like leashes or harnesses, um, hand sanitizer for the kids, or treats for the animals, and also maybe a spray bottle for animals that need to be wet down during the presentation. So thank you, Andy, for the toolbox, and I will definitely give Kismet some pets for you. Oh, it's another gift bag. Hope this keeps both Chili Pepper and Cheeks happy and healthy from the doctor family. It's wrapped up. More critical care, yay. You guys might not be excited about this, but I am super stoked because, I'm, like I said, we totally need it. We need it all the time and it keeps them so healthy. It keeps their GI tract healthy and we like to keep the animals healthy. What is in here? Oh. Nice! Hi Animal Wonders, thank you so much for keeping these animals healthy and happy from Eric Garber, the human, and Nigel Quillingsley, the hedgehog. I love it, <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much Eric and, wait, Eric and Nigel, Eric and Nigel, ooh yes, okay. So we take the animals for walks all the time and it's really hard to walk like a fox or a Patagonian cavy who they just want to run and I am not fast enough to keep up with them. So a 30 foot leash is what I like to walk them on. The 30 feet allows us a lot of room to just be able to let them maneuver on their own and do what they want to do without me constantly like tugging on the rope because I'm not fast enough. So thank you so much. And it looks like we have one left. What is this? This says, hi Animal Wonders, I thought your opossum might like this. From Minda Carpenter. <gasps> oh, you, yeah, <laughs> you are so lucky. So this is a self-grooming cat arch. So Ophelia, since she is missing her leg on her back left side, she can't reach up and groom her ear like she normally would. This might help her groom herself on there. She might be able to walk up onto it and rub her ear on it, which I would love. I'm gonna set it up tonight and see if she if she interacts with it. That would be really cool. It might take her a little while to get used to it, um, but uh, we're gonna see. Thank you so much. All right, Ophelia, we unboxed everything. It's time for you to head home and let's see how you like your new toy. All right, Ophelia, what do you think? Got a bright light on you, but I wanted to give you this and see what you thought about it. Look at that. You think you could rub your ear against that? She might learn how to do it on her own. Mm, good girl. I will watch her carefully to make sure she's not hurting herself on it. All right, let's go and share the rest of the toys with Kismet the porcupine. I brought you some toys. Do you wanna come play with them? Come here. Kizzy's in a new space, she's still getting used to it. We got you some new toys, you wanna come say hi? I got some good stuff for you, what about this? I thought you might really like this, what is it? Kismet is more interested in climbing in my lab than playing with the toys right now. I will leave them in here overnight, but I want to see how Huckleberry would react to this kind of toy, because we've never given him one of these kinds of toys before. So he's right next door and he's awake. I can hear him over there swimming around. So let's go and pay him a visit. All right, it is Huckleberry's turn. Oh, hello, Huckleberry. Here, you gotta stay in there. <laughs> he came right out. <laughs> don't, knock, don't knock over the camera, holy cow. He is very active right now, and he is trying to knock this camera stand over. Don't go under it. He keeps going under it, and then like, <laughs> little buck and bronco. <laughs> Dude. Well, now we know what happens. 
when we film with the nocturnal animals at night. Look, I have some toys for you. I think you're gonna love these. First up, this one. It's one of our favorites. What do you think? No, that one's not interesting? What's this all about? You got something on your back. It's on you. Where are you gonna take it? Well, I guess we know not to waste these favorite bird toys on the nocturnal rodents. We'll leave them for the birds, because the birds love them. All right, well, we're back in with Kismet, because Huckleberry just really wanted some attention. He wanted to know what we were doing out here in the middle of the night, but he was not interested in chewing on any of these toys. Um, so I'm going to bring this back for Kismet, like I promised. As you can see, you don't always know what's going to happen when you're working with animals. And I thought these two big chewing rodents would really like chewing on the toys, but they're both very social as well. So they just wanted to see what I was doing in here and socialize, which is totally fine too. Some people ask how I socialize the nocturnal animals and this is how I do it. I'm, I'm awake at night a lot and I come out and I spend a lot of time with them. And when we can get a companion for the animals that are social, that's what we do. And when we can't, then we do as much enrichment as possible, giving them toys and things to interact with and human interaction as well. One of my favorite things to do with Kismet is to create animal art with her. So I put down canvases and then some paint on the canvases and I let her run around and play. That is one of my favorite things to do with her and I was just reminded of that because she has a little bit of blue paint on her white mohawk and it reminded me of the painting fun that we have. If you would like a painting that Kismet does, we have them for sale. All the proceeds go to her care, her food, and and vet care when she needs it. And you can find them on dftba.com. You can get a custom piece requesting your colors that would match your, match your decor or, or your favorite colors. Or you can get ones that she's already painted and it can be a surprise. If you have any questions about Kismet or African Crested Porcupines in the Wild, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for joining me on this special unboxing video, late night edition. I had a lot of fun, even though the animals didn't do exactly what I thought they were going to do. She just wanted to cuddle more, but I bet she tears apart those toys overnight. Thanks again, and if you would like to go on an animal adventure with us every week, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.